Okay, let's go ahead and figure out how to add these two fractions without the LCD. And that's going to be uh, a relief to a lot of you who are out there saying, oh, wow, I was worried about this problem because I hate fractions. Most people are like this, fractions, oh, I don't want to deal with fractions. And oftentimes they don't want to deal with fractions. And I was this way too. Uh, you're like, oh, I got to figure out the LCD. Okay, it's like the lowest common denominator. And that's typically one of the areas that people don't like uh, dealing with. So we're going to go ahead and change this sad face into happy face by saying, hey, listen, we can add these fractions without finding the LCD. Now, you need to know how to find the LCD. This is the lowest common denominator. Okay, I have plenty of videos on this. Uh, go to my pre-algebra playlist, okay, and I have videos on how to find the LCD, et cetera, et cetera. So this is not a uh, an excuse um, to say, well, I never need to, uh, you know, learn how to find the LCD. No, you need to do that. Okay. But there is another technique, a very important technique that you need to know, not only in arithmetic, but in algebra as well, uh, that um, allows us to add or subtract fractions without finding the LCD. So I'm going to share with uh, that, I'm going to share that technique with you in just a second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, basic to advanced. I have like pre-algebra, all the big courses, geometry, algebra one, algebra two. I'm going to be launching my pre-calculus course here soon college algebra, et cetera, et cetera. But I have many, many uh, specialty courses, uh, uh, especially in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED exam uh, or uh, a teacher certification exam or the SAT or the ACT, nursing entrance exam, Accuplace or Alex exam, there's a ton of different uh, reasons why people are studying math, and, uh, and it could be outside of you actually taking a math course. So I have a lot of great test preparation courses um, I also work with a lot of independent learners like homeschoolers. So I have a special kind of homeschool system. So if uh, you are homeschooling, you can check out my program. And then obviously, if you're struggling in your current class, whether that be algebra, pre-algebra, whatever the case might be, uh, my program can assist you as well. But you need to start assisting yourself uh, when you're learning mathematics by taking fantastic notes. So over decades of teaching math, this is my golden rule. Okay, golden rule of math is this. Those students who take the best math notes almost always end up with the best math grades. They look like this person at the end of the year with their grade. They're like, look at me. I got an A plus. I am awesome. And you could be awesome as well in math. But if you don't take math notes, your grades are going to suffer, right? I just... Uh, uh, almost without exception. So if you're sloppy, like just like me, I was way back in the good old days, I was sloppy. I didn't take math notes because I didn't realize the importance of them. And again, a lot of students think that this is like an optional thing. Uh, it's not really optional at all. You have to not only take notes, okay, like can't, not like scribble scratchy kind of notes. You got to take great notes. The better your notes are, the better your comprehension is going to be and the better your grades going to be. Okay. So please, please, Focus on your note taking in case an activity to remain focused on what the teacher, you know, is giving you all this information. It's a lot of information. It's going to help you tremendously. But as you improve in your note taking, I actually offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry and algebra two and trigonometry. So you can check out uh, uh, those notes by following the links in the description of this video. So if uh, you're studying fractions, you'll probably want to check out my pre-algebra notes. Okay, so let's get to this problem here. And let me show you the technique, and then we'll go ahead and quickly uh, review this. So this, again, a lot of you out there are like, I already know how to find the LCD. And most people can find the LCD when the numbers are nice and easy. All right, but when the numbers are more challenging, let's say like 3 over 29, Plus, well, that's let's use a different one. 27 over 5 over no, I don't know. Let's say 20. Okay, and they're like, oh, now I got to really think about how to find the LCD here. Or let's say this is 35. Okay, so that's when it, you know, LCD becomes more challenging. Here, it's pretty easy. But remember, in the real world, you know, not all the math problems you're going to do are going to be easy. 
Okay. All right. So let me show you this technique. I call it the bow tie method. All right. So I don't know if well, you know what a bow tie is. Let's put our little stick figure guy here. A bow tie is one of these little deals, right? A nice looking tie like that. That's a bow tie. So this shape is what I want you to kind of keep in mind. Okay. So here's how it works. And it's very specifically in this order. So we're going to take this denominator, or this bottom right number, starting with this fraction, and we're going to multiply this way. Okay, so what's that answer? So this is going to be 10 times 3, that is 30. Now this is an addition problem, so I'm going to put plus, and then I'm going to go the other way. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, we'll put that right here. And this makes up our numerator of our answer. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to multiply this way, all right? So 8 times uh, 10 is 80, all right? This is going to be our answer, all right? So we, let's just review the steps. I went this times this, okay? So 10 times 3, 30. 8 times 5, 40. And then I went 8 times 10, 80, okay? So now let's go ahead and add all this up. So 30 plus 40 is 70. 70 over 80, uh, over 80 is our final answer. And you could cross cancel these zeros. So this reduces down to seven uh, eighths. Now, the thing about this particular method, the bow tie method is uh, we didn't find the LCD, okay? However, your answer very often needs to be reduced because that's one of the little drawbacks on this particular method. But it is a powerful method. It's one of the most powerful just shortcuts, you just need to know this, okay? So let's uh, look at this problem again. I'll do one other example. So 7 eighths is the answer. Let's actually go ahead and do this with the uh, lowest common denominator, just as a quick review, All right? Make this a little bit more interesting. So we know the answer, again, is 7 eighths. Now, why is it that we need to find the LCD? Well, you can't add fractions unless you have the same denominator. So like here, if these two denominators are the same, so I can add the fractions, I put it over the same denominator and I add the numerators, okay? So three plus one is four and uh, we're done, okay? But here, we obviously don't have the same denominator, so we're gonna have to kind of fix this problem up. Now, the probably the, the most effective way to do this problem, and hopefully some of you out there are like, can't we just reduce this fraction five tenths? Yes, okay? When you have an up, when you're dealing with fractions and you have a like a big fraction, let's say 20 over 50 plus uh, let's say one third, okay, you would not want to do this problem and keep this denominator. You would want to simplify this fraction. So that's the first step you always want to do: simplify all your fractions here. Let's kind of uh, erase that. So here, this is uh, equivalent to this problem: three eighths plus. 5 tenths is 1 half, okay? So that is what this problem is equivalent to. So in other words, the answer to this is going to be the answer to this. Now here, I have 8 and 2. So what is the lowest common denominator, right? Hmm. So again, this is where a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I forgot how to, I forget how to find that. But intuitively, most of you out there should say 8, Okay, so you're like, oh, it's an 8. Yes, it is 8. And if you answered 8, then definitely give yourself a happy face and a star and a 100% for answering that question. Now, that's, uh, you know, a real easy question, but that shows that you're intuitively kind of like, yeah, uh, okay, I, I kind of remember the LCD. But, okay, the LCD is 8, but now what do we do? Well, I have 8 here as this denominator, 2 is this denominator. I want both denominators to be 8. So how can I get this 2 to become an 8? Well, how about we just multiply it by 4? Okay, so 4 times this 2 will make this into an 8. But if I multiply this denominator by 8, I also have to multiply the numerator by 8, okay, uh, to be fair, right? Or you change the actual value of this fraction. So let's go ahead and, whoops, um, go ahead and rewrite this. So this is going to be 3 eighths plus 4 over 8, and now we have the same denominators. So now we're ready to go ahead and um, add this so we keep the same denominator, 8, and 3 plus 4 is 7, 7, 8. Okay, so uh, a lot of you out there are like, well, this is easy too. I could just go this route. Yes, you could, but 
you want to know this bow tie method. Believe me when I tell you uh, it is one of the most um, effective, effective tools in your math arsenal you can have. Let's just do one last quick problem. Uh, let's uh, do something like this. X over W plus uh, G over H. Now, some of you are like, whoa, 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 what are you doing here? You're doing a little algebra. You know, you might have this expression. Hey, what's going on here? All right, that's a little too advanced. No, 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 just relax. Let's go ahead and add these fractions. So what is the LCD between W and H? Well, you'll learn this in algebra if you haven't done this, but let's just relax, okay? Let's just apply this bow tie method. Let's just go this times this. So in algebra, when we multiply two variables, H times X, we write that as uh, X, H. We just write the variables um, next to one another. That means multiplication. Okay, so that's that, all right? X plus H is, or so X times H is XH plus, and we're doing the bow tie method here, W times G, okay, is what? Well, a WG, that means W times G. That's our numerator over W times H. That would be our denominator, WH, and that is correct. Okay, you add these two fractions in algebra, you get this problem. So no need for scary faces Okay, this stuff doesn't have to be that bad, but, you know, in mathematics, it all comes down to, um, you know, are you learning the right techniques? Okay, and you can't learn math like this. Like, sometimes you're learning, sometimes you're kind of off, you're distracted, and then, oh, yeah, you kind of, you know, it's not going to work that way. You want to kind of, you know, have a path like this. Okay, you're constantly focused, you're constantly you know, it's like climbing steps, one step at a time, okay? So if you're kind of oscillating back and forth in your math efforts or your math focus, then, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be a best average, right? And my job is to keep you excited learning this stuff because math is awesome, okay? Just in case you didn't know, uh, you know, math is a great subject. And if you um, don't like math, well, hopefully... You know, uh, some of these little tutorials who are, you know, be like, you know, it's not, maybe that's so bad, okay? Because it isn't bad and you're going to need it, okay? Believe me when I tell you, if this is the level of math that you're studying right now, you got a long ways to go uh, as far as my, um, you know, what I believe, okay? You certainly uh, could go much, much higher in mathematics than you probably think you can. Okay, so if this video was uh, helpful in some way, if you enjoyed it, please consider smashing that like button. That would help me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, have hundreds of videos organized from basic to advanced mathematics on my ch channel, okay? Uh, and obviously I'm posting stuff all the time because I'm obsessed with teaching mathematics in a clear and understandable way. But if you want my best math help, go ahead and check out the links in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.